Well, while I was in Europe, in Belgium last year, I was inspired by the Lord to share to you a very, very personal testimony about my life, my divine calling to be the servant of Jesus, and being sent throughout the whole nation to preach the gospel of Christ, the gospel of the kingdom. I pray today that by watching and listening to this personal testimony of mine, many of you will be encouraged, will be inspired to follow the path of being a servant of God. Be blessed. This is Bishop Joe the Seer. And say, oh, here I am. I'm a preacher of the gospel. I came here by faith. I walk by faith. Though I'm a spiritual father, though I am a bishop of many churches, but through from the day one when I sold my house, my inherited land for the gospel, I just walk by faith, believing God to supply all my needs. And the Lord never never disappoint me he always supply me supernaturally financially economically and in every way that i go until today i am in europe today it was god's doing it was the holy spirit who sent me in europe as an apostle to preach the gospel and to teach the nation and it was a supernatural provision of god to pay my tickets to provide me accommodation and food to eat here I have been already here. This is the third time I'm in Europe. Last year, 2015, I came two times. And this is the third time I'm here in Europe. And I'm in the midst of establishing my organization. Praise God. Praise God. So here I am, like Paul said, a preacher, an apostle, and a teacher. I hold this office. Like Paul said, I, I magnify my office. If there's a doctor in the house, he better put signage and saying doctor so and so that sick people and those who see understand that this is a doctor if you don't tell anybody that you are a doctor then how will they know when they are sick if there is an apostle in the house you shall not be ashamed or a prophet you cannot be ashamed and and just hide yourself no you said i am an apostle of jesus the same one the apostolos, apostolois, apostolon. I am the prophet of Jesus who, who interpret the mind of Christ, who prophesy to the nation. And people who come and seek to you, like people are looking for doctors, seeking counsel over you. I am a seer prophet of the Lord. I am a prophet who walk in a seer anointing. That means a seer who see the future, the past and the present and a seer who where God speak to me through vision and dreams. In Numbers chapter 12 verse 6, God said, Hear now my words. If there is a prophet among you, I make myself known to him in a vision. I speak to him in a dream. That is me. That is a seer. God often show himself through visions, trans vision open vision and he speak to me many times in dream just like joseph just like jacob just like daniel who had a vision of the night so a lot of things if you want to know more about me go to my youtube channel and go to 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 uh, take my books i wrote a special book called the paraclete holy ghost first chronicle it talks about the spirit of god as an apostle, I am being mandated by Jesus to share, to testify, to make people know and understand the ministry of the Holy Spirit that is living in us today and is moving all around Europe and all around Canada, America, and Africa and the nation of Asia. 
I wrote this book 200 over pages and it talks about the vision that I have, the revelation that I received and the attribute and ministry of the Holy Spirit and that you may know where I came from. It's a great testimony, beloved. The Lord showed me many, many things through visions, through dreams. He made himself known to me in vision and speak to me through many dreams about the future, about the end time, about me in heaven, the caught up in heaven, about what is the church is doing now and what the Lord wanted to do now. This is the last end time move of the Holy Ghost. I'm living in this movement. This is going to be a big, big movement. I'm telling you, the Holy Ghost movement is going to be a big, big movement, including restoring the church and the body of Christ. It's a movement of restoration where the Holy Spirit is going to restore you, going to restore the church, going to restore the ministry. And those who cannot take it, God will shake the church. Judgment begin in the house of the Lord. I know this for sure. So that what came out are those who are true sons and daughters of the Lord. The spirit of sonship is moving. The spirit of God is moving. For God did not send the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power, sound mind, and love. That is what we want, that we preach the gospel not by enticing word of human wisdom, but by the demonstration and the power of the Holy Spirit of God. I am here to preach and to demonstrate the anointing power of God that break the yoke and transform your chain. If you don't know Jesus today, just shout unto the Lord. Romans chapter 10 will say, confess your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that He is risen from the dead. You shall be saved and you shall receive eternal life. Say, Jesus, I repent from my sin. I change my mind and decide to follow you, acknowledge you as my King, my Messiah, and my Lord. I plead, Heavenly Father, I plead for the blood of Jesus to purify me from all unrighteousness. As of today, I will start a new life, a new beginning to follow you, to become your disciple in the name of Jesus. And trust me, something's going to happen inside of you.